Today is January the 13th, 2021, and I want to show you guys something very quick. A really short little video of how to uh, work with these resistors that get broken. If you've ever had these uh, types of uh, resistors, uh, this is a special purpose I'm hooking these up for. But if you notice, these are brand new, by the way, right out of the, right out of the wrapper. The wrapper was even unbroken. Look right at there. This thing's no good there at the end. There's two wires broken right there. Big as a bird. Well, anyway, I'm not using that. I needed 8,000 ohms, so I got 8,000 from here to here. And then this little tiny pickoff point right here, which is actually kind of touching on that, so I'll have to do some, some adjustments on that. <clears throat> it's where I'm going to be measuring. It's a voltage divider. But anyway, I need an 8K load from here to here, and then I'm going to pick off a small amount down here from my oscilloscope. That's not the point of the video. Is The point of the video is this is actually, you can't solder that, but you can fix it really easy. Look at this. I have this copper tape in just about every size on earth. And all you got to do is take just a little tiny piece of it. You can take it as big as you want. You can actually solder this stuff, too. It's, it, it, it's good stuff. Just cut off a little piece. I'm going to cut off a little skinny strip. I don't want to make it too wide or too skinny. I'll make it about like that. And um, you you can't you could use aluminum tape too, I suppose. Be a little bit cheaper, but you can't solder to aluminum. So if I can do this, there you go. Uh, and then you just put this right across it. Yeah, I want to show you first though, uh, right here right across it see there open line okay I'll just leave it hooked up and you take this piece of tape right here and get the camera on so you know what I'm doing and just uh, patch it with a piece of tape like that and press it on there nice and good and look at there there's our resistor 99.5k Technically, it'd be with 10K, but these, these resistors are not very precision anyway, because look here. This first 5K resistor measures, and you can trust this meter, 4860. Call it eh, 4900. I mean, it's close enough. Okay, well, that's what that one measures, 4860, and this one measures 4690, 4700. So I lost 100 ohms. But anyway, that works right there. works real good. Like I say, aluminum tape might work just as well. Uh, but this stuff comes, just search the internet for it if you want copper tape. It comes in every width and length you can imagine. So, I hope that helps you guys in case you uh, find your favorite resistor in your junk box and it's been damaged over the years. Yeah, i got to kind of separate those a little bit. But that's my problem right there. Look at there. There's a place right there. i got to examine that. Make sure that's not broken. I don't think it is because I think that's where, you know, so I removed uh, one of, that's where that other one was for a long time. I'll look at it uh, real close. So, hope that helps you, uh, this right here helps you save your resistors. Stay safe, my friends.